Hello guys, would you be excited if someone is going to give you a Sony WH-1000XM3? I would definitely be excited. Do you know why? Because this is one of the market leader in terms of noise cancelling headphones. Yes, you heard it right. Today we are going to review my Sony WH-1000XM3. I got this headphone about six months ago and I think it is good enough time for me to just come back and tell you how I feel about these headphones. For those of you who are new to this channel, I am your host Nidin Philip and you're watching Nicks and Needs. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and enable the bell icon so as soon as I release a video, it comes uh, directly to you without further ado. All right. So this is what the headphone I'm talking about. This is my new Sony WH-1000XM3. What a weird name. But apart from that weird name, this is an outstanding piece of noise cancelling headphones. Let's check out. As you can see, it comes with a hard case. This case is reasonably good and it does the job pretty well. Uh, you can see here, the slip comes with a copper finish. For me, it looks now let's uh, open this box and see our headphones. All right, so this is what it looks like. Oh, wow, this is really, really nice. You see, a good design. There is no question about that. This design really looks good. And there are copper finishes here, 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 and here. And these are stretchable so that it doesn't actually hurt your head you know you can uh, based on the size of your head you can really stretch these headphones and the padding is really really good these are really soft headphones and i'm pretty sure that this will give comfort to your ears when you wear them and you can see there are microphones here one two and this right ear cup comes with a touch pad so if you tap twice you can pause the music if you move to the right you can uh, flip between the tracks, move up, increase the voice, move down, decrease the voice, and then double tap to attend the calls and cut the calls. And then when you put your hands like this, it actually goes to the ambient mode, so you can hear the noise that is around you. For any sort of over-the-ear headphones, there are two or three parameters that they should really nail. Number one is the sound quality. Number two is that how it does the noise cancellation. Number three, certain element of comfort. When I talk about this, you can probably understand that this headphones nail in all these three areas. This headphones produces crystal clear sound quality. The Sony is well known for its sound quality and it, it really amazing. And, and I must say that it produces an outstanding sound quality. Now in terms of noise cancellation, uh, comparing to its rivals, it does the job pretty fantastic. It actually kills all white noise around. The earphones are really comfortable on your ear because these are known as over-the-ear headphones. And it doesn't actually give you an ear fatigue. It doesn't give you, you know, the discomfort. I used to wear these headphones two to three hours in a row straight. But after the end of my session, I, it, it, like, it, little, it gets a little warmer on your ear. Uh, that is the only negative thing I could probably say about these headphones. But uh, in terms of comfort, it's really amazing. No questions about that. It comes with a USB-C type charger, which is good. Uh, it goes for a fast charging. And then you, you have an airplane charger as well. Suppose you are a frequent flyer and if you want to charge your phone uh, in the airplane, still possible. You get this uh, adapter as well as a connector here. Let's look at the buttons and ports in this uh, uh, headphones. So this is the charging. Uh, Port that is available in this uh, or noise cancelling over the headphone and you know you can attach your C type charger here and then from your laptop or computer you, you can charge it or, or if you have a plug that actually supports USB charging then probably that is possible and there are chances that you might get misunderstood that this could be a charging port but this is not the charging port this is actually the microphones of the cup so this is your power button you you tap here to turn on the power and this actually helps you to switch between noise cancellation or ambient noise mode. So some of the negatives here. Uh, 
I'm not really happy with the touchpad that is available here. Uh, even after six months, I, I did not succeed well to control this touchpad. It works most of the time, but at times it is so annoying. Like if I really want, when I wanted to just flip between the tracks, it doesn't work. When I, doesn't, when I want to increase the volume and decrease the volume, it actually fails. But it is not always, but once in a while it happens. And then also I have read that you know, where the, this uh, touchpad doesn't work well in areas where it is freezing, but I, I'm not living in a freezing zone. I am in the Middle East, so it is super hot here right now. And I never experienced uh, such a thing. And if you, if you have come across something like that, please let me know in the comment box. And I don't know the authenticity of that as well. So, and then uh, even though it doesn't produce an ear fatigue, uh, if you wear it for long hours, it actually warm your ears a bit. Uh, that is again uh, a little bit of a constraint for sure. You cannot pair multiple devices into these headphones. You can pair only one phone at a time. And which is not a good thing for me. Suppose uh, if, I have to, if I have two phones and my music are in two different phones, I have to turn off one and then turn off the Bluetooth in this phone and then connect to the other phone, which is again, uh, so much uh, trouble you know so I think uh, the next version of Sony they might fix this error and then they produce something that support multiple device connectivity then I really miss uh, those uh, physical buttons here at least for uh, increasing the volume and decreasing the volume I think uh, it should have been fair to keep those buttons there than the touch option because touch option is not really great in these headphones. I'm pretty sure Sony must be working on uh, to improve or maybe with the software update, uh, the touch functions could be improved in the future. I'm not sure yet. So this is a well-built headphones. There are, there are no questions about that. And the style is very good. It looks really elegant and it is built well. Even though it is plastic, it is not that cheap plastic. It is good quality plastic. It gives good amount of comfort. The parting on both the uh, both the air cups are really great and uh, they are lightweight if you're planning to buy this phone i highly recommend that you can go ahead and buy this this is a great product uh, it is very good in terms of sound quality comfort and noise cancellation sony actually sends uh, software to support uh, these headphones you can see them here uh, this is a headphone uh, connectivity app now let me turn on my headset then uh, it will get connected to this device automatically. Sony has a headphone uh, app which actually helps you to control your headphone from your phone. So now as you can see my headphone is connected to this uh, application right now. So even uh, you know it, it can optimize your ear then atmospheric, atmospheric pressure optimization is there you can still do that. Now sound position control is here now you can really tap on any of these buttons and then control the noise how it should be played again uh, there are presets available here you can choose between uh, any of them and then you know based on your preferences and taste you can set it the way they want and then uh, uh, you, you have the equalizer here you can you can play around with that and you know this application is really good and it has got a lot of controls here even though there are so many buttons available uh, on your headphone uh, still you can really control it from uh, this app which is a good, good thing and comparing to other uh, headphone manufacturers uh, Sony has got a pretty decent app which helps you to control your headphone the way you want so that's pretty much about this app and uh, you can play around it if you have it on your phone if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing my channel and enable the bell icon so as soon as I release a video it comes uh, directly to you without further ado. So that's for today. I'll see you next Saturday with another amazing topic. And till then, you guys take care, stay safe, goodbye.